Hi, hello, welcome to Spell Day. We're covering a spell every single day of the year from the 5e e PHP plus 3. Those plus 3 spells are homebrew spells. We're currently at plus 1 at the moment. You can back the playlist to find it. Today's spell is Lehman's Tiny Hut. Third level evocation ritual. Casting time of 1 minute, range of self, 10 foot radius, hemisphere, components, herbal somatic material, a small crystal bead. Duration, 8 hours. 10 foot radius, immobile dome of force, springs into existence around you and above you and remains stationary for the duration. The spell ends if you leave its area. Nine creatures of medium size or smaller can fit inside the dome with you. The spell fails if its area includes a larger creature or more than nine creatures. Creatures and objects within the dome when you cast the spell can move through it freely. All other creatures and objects are barred from passing through it. Spells and other magical effects can't extend through the dome or be cast through it. The atmosphere inside the space is comfortable and dry regardless of the weather outside. Till the spell ends, you can command the interior to become dimly lit or dark. The dome is opaque from the outside of any color you choose, but is transparent from the inside. the rest spell what do you want all right what is there to touch on lehman's that hasn't already been touched or is kind of obvious from the description i mean it's a ritual big favor big ups in that account means it can be used for any rest and you don't need to really be saving a spell slot for it that much especially because you're not going to be casting this in the middle of combat most of the time because it takes a minute anyway interesting thing though the fact that it can only be for medium creatures even if a larger creature is casting this spell, they can't. The spell automatically fails, technically, because they're a larger creature than medium. So, sorry any players playing monstrous races, that's, uh, or large monstrous races, that's not gonna work out in your favor. But speaking of those creature ones, mounts. If your party has horses, or a carriage, or a caravan, or whatever, it's not gonna be able to fit within this, this dome. That's just for the players. I have a druid wild shape into something large in here. It's gonna pop it, so... Well, sabotage from the inside. Polymorph. Polymorphing on the inside would break it if it's to a larger creature than medium. I mean, again, this is the rest spell. It's an opaque wall of force. Nothing's gonna get through it. This even blocks spells. This one also blocks from- well, objects and creatures from the inside can go out. Spells are also barred from the inside. They can't go out. The, no spell can get through that barrier, inside or out. The weather can be nice in here, compared if you're in the Arctic, if you're in some torrential downpour in the middle of, like, Tsunami season? I get monsoon season, that's the word I was looking for. Because it stays dry on the inside, and when you cast it as well, th uh, technically the water wouldn't be able to push through it anymore. If you cast this fast enough, when the water level's rising, you could just have a puddle on the inside. It would also says it's dry, I guess the atmosphere is dry. The water could build up around the outside of it. Man, that's gonna suck when that bubble pops. But I mean, this is the rest spell. Last eight hours. That's enough time for the usual long rest. The dome is opaque from the outside, but it still looks like a perfect dome. But depending on where you place it, in a field- I mean, you could go for the basic camouflage of one color and from a distance. You know, blue on the ocean or gray on the waters for the horizon line. Gray as well for rocky terrain in the mountains, or white for the snow around it. That also might be buried on it in a blizzard. Easy to miss. Transparency from the inside, so you can keep a watch. This is good for spying on a region. The issue is, again, it's just the... Oh. The original creature as well casting the spell. Well, any other creature that has been on the inside when this was cast as well, or invited inside, they can look out. That is, or they can look out, they can walk out. Anyone can look out. It's transparent on the inside. Again, the spying thing. But they can walk out. They can come back in. The person who casts this, the moment they go out, the bubble pops. So you might be locking down... A powerful spellcaster group when you cast a spell. You gotta think of them as always stuck here. Hell, it's even got lighting on the inside. It's meant for a rest. Dim light, dark, so anywhere that, you know, you can have the night light on inside the bubble. I mean, that's what it's gonna be used for. The fact it can also be used in defense on the inside of it because it blocks creatures outside of it. Like, if you can set this up on a battlefield, good for you. Now you're trapped in the bubble. Eight hours, though, meaning enemies are gonna have to camp around it, but you can be cornered. Depending on how this works out, okay. You can, at least in the base rulings, get a short rest through on this as well. Because short rest only takes an hour. Let's say you've been surrounded, you've been trapped, and you cast the bubble ahead of time preemptively. And your party is safe inside it, enemies are surrounding it, waiting for it to pop so they can rush you or ambush you. Maybe they even got reinforcements at this point, maybe there's a, I don't know what situation this is, but like a ballista aimed at it. <laughs> Just waiting for it to open or pop, and a million held actions around you. But in that time, you can get a short rest, you can prepare, you can make plans. Someone could preemptively cast Fog Cloud on the inside and then pop the bubble, essentially letting it spread out. It's just... C combat and outside maneuvers. It could be used for spying, it could be used for rests, it could be used for stakeouts, but that's the core thing it's meant for. 
That is the core thing it's meant for, with all these other abilities as well. This is for, again, hiding out somewhere. This is the rest spell. Safe, magical, barricade, and camp. You're already fine. It even protects against magic. You're good. It's just protection when you rest. 9 out of 10. Ritual, no gold cost. It's only really that, not 10 out of 10, because the original cast, there's a limit to the size category, and the original caster has to be stuck on the inside of it for the entire duration. And their spells can't go out, so. But no, 9, nine out of 10.